my hair got damaged and now I'm running back to hair grease, yes. So today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be using the Blue Magic hair grease. Hair grease and water, that is it today guys. I'm keeping it simple, no heat. So the product I'm going to be using today is the Blue Magic Originals Indian Hemp and it contains green tea leaves, jojoba, aloe and safflower. It says herbal hair and scalp conditioner. Let's move on to the wheat germ. It's enriched with vitamin E, Blue Magic hair food with wheat germ oil and coconut oil, prevents hair from breakage and dry brittle hair. I didn't actually know about Blue Magic growing up but seeing a lot of your comments, I see that this was a staple in many of your households. So a few years ago, I turned to using Blue Magic because sometimes, you know, I just want to have a little, uh, I just want to try something else. And initially, I, I weren't a fan of the Blue Magic. Come again, say what? I just found it a bit more tacky and not as light as the Dax. But I've grown to love it and because it's quite thick, my daughter's hair seems to love it, especially the Wheat Germ Blue Magic. So as I said, I'm taking it back to basics, guys. I've done a video like this, ooh, about maybe three, four years ago. My mum didn't blow dry our hair. She literally had me and my sister on a Saturday morning would use Dixie Peach hair grease. Before it got discontinued, then we had to use Dax. If any of you guys do know about Dixie Peach, that was a staple in our household. And I didn't even know the name of it. My mum just used to say, go and get the Vaseline. I didn't know Vaseline was a brand. I just thought Vaseline was hair grease, and that's it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be doing what she done today. There was no leave-in conditioner. I'm going to be using the hair grease like that. Just watering hair grease. Our hair grew tremendously, it was thick, it was long, so I'm just gonna be doing that same method. I actually prefer the wheat germ hair grease because I just feel that it has more, more slip to it. I think this one kind of feels like I'm putting a film on my hair, but over time, I'd say maybe the next day or so, what or once my hair's dried, it will start to feel, I can feel it penetrate into my strands and my hair feels very smooth, very moisturized and sealed. Oh no, it's knocking stuff over. I've already detangled my hair. If you want to see how my wash day went, then you're going to want to watch the next video after this. I'm just going to section my hair, pull it on my ends, pull it, put it on my ends and comb it through. With hair grease, look at the definition that you get. Look at that. This part of my hair does not usually curl. It's just usually just frizzy, but look at that. Oh, yummy. Yeah. That's hair grease. Perhaps you're right. I'm doing this quickly because with my hair, water takes long to penetrate into my strands. And funny enough, it doesn't take long for it to evaporate. So I, I need to seal whatever moisture I have in my hair right now. And I'm just smoothing it down my strands just to coat it. And all I'm gonna do is the typical two cane rows because this will be my style that will last me for the week. Before I do my elaborate hairstyle. Oh my the... God, that's amazing. Wow, yes. the sound. How... That you guys on Instagram and my YouTube community chose for me, so thank you very much. My hair was detangled as I said, but with this hair grease I find it kind of, it kind of coats it to the point where it's just like a, it, it's like a film. So when I'm trying to comb it, it's kind of like clumped together. Do you know what? I think for the other side, the wheat germ. There you go. I think because this one's thicker, it reminds me more of beeswax. In a sense, not as thick as beeswax, but I feel it can get those flyaways down and I feel it can definitely smooth those edges down. I wouldn't necessarily put this on my scalp because I think for my hair, or my scalp, just for my preference, it's too thick. My arms are hurting. As I said, my mom used to do mine and my sister's hair on a Saturday morning before we went shopping. So she would wash our hair, condition our hair, detangle it in the wash, and then she would apply hair grease to it, have one of us let the hair grease soak in, then start on the other hair. She should start the cane rows. This is all before shopping on a Saturday morning. 
right? So we used to be out maybe by about 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning. So can you imagine the time she woke us up? <laughs> so I don't know how my mom managed that because doing my kids hair, that's an all day affair. I don't attempt to go anywhere. Okay, so I felt I struggled a little bit with that one. When I say that one, I mean that hair grease because as I said, it was like a film. It wasn't, it, there wasn't much slip with it. It was more like a, I wanna say cling film or my other viewers or subscribers, sarang wrap. As this is the battle of the blue magic uh, hair greases, we're gonna try the wheat germ on the other side. I'm gonna use one of these rubber bands. I find it easier to use rubber bands, guys. I know some people have their preferences. Don't use rubber bands, you can use rubber bands. I find that when I use hair grease on my hair, the rubber band slips out nice and easy without snagging my hair, without ripping out my hair and breaking it, okay? Yeah, so as for the smell, it's got a very, it smells like bubble gum initially, and then it smells like plastic after, like the plastic wrapping that bubble gum would come in. I don't know, it's weird. But it's not a bad hair grease. I think if you want to smooth your hair down, maybe for like a pullback bun or something like that, I would recommend using it when your hair's dry though. I think this one's a bit too harsh on wet hair. I kind of felt a snag and a little pull here and there. So, all right. So let's move on to number two, and that was the wheat germ. Can you see that? And the smell reminds me of Dixie Peach. Yes, it does. So, was I being harsh on the hemp one because I'm being biased? But I do prefer this one because of the smell and because of the texture and the way it applies onto my hair. This one says it's enriched with vitamin E, blue magic hair food with wheat germ oil and coconut oil, prevents hair from breakage and dry brittle hair. First ingredient is petrolatum, then mineral oil, coconut oil, wheat germ oil. Wheat germ's quite far down on the list. Why crack? Hmm. And it says blue magic hair food, anti-breakage conditioner and dressing specifically formulated to condition dry brittle hair, wheat germ oil, vitamin E and coconut oil to promote healthy looking and lustrous hair. Directions, gently massage a small amount of the hair and scalp with fingertips every day and after shampooing. Well, there you go. Let's just apply this one. So already this one's got much nicer slip. I can smooth it down. It's still quite um, filmish but it's a lot easier to apply. So I would definitely recommend the yellow one, the wheat germ one, for wet hair. I think the other one, when your hair's dried, and as I said, you're trying to do like maybe a daily style, that would be great. But for, for wet hair, not so much. Someone asked me, do I just apply hair grease to my hair or do I put it on my scalp? I do put it on my scalp, especially on my edges, because it conditions my edges and keeps them moisturized and stops them from breaking. But my scalp in general, like here, there's your answer. Yes, I do. Why do I do it? Because I don't like to have a dry scalp. When I wash my hair, my scalp tends to get quite dry. I have got an alternative that I showed you in my last video, hair grease in a bottle if you're interested. So that's my alternative. I'm not saying what it is. If you want to know what it is, you go and watch the video. I suppose it's like when you come out of the shower, you've got a creamy skin. That's what I've got in my head when it comes to my hair, no pun intended. So it needs to be moisturized because it's skin at the end of the day. I feel so good when I use hair grease, I'm not lying. <laughs> I just feel so like, oh, that's what my hair needed. It just, it just needed a little douse of hair grease. As you can see, I'm having more ease with this side. The hairs don't feel like they're all bunched up together, apart from the fact that they're curling back on themselves. It's not in addition to a heavy film that's making them stick together. It's just the characteristics of my hair that they're curling back on themselves. Ah, oh, my battery's about to go. Right, let's see how long I can go on before my battery cuts off. 
Okay, so my camera chose to die. I almost forgot that I hadn't ended the video, so I want to give you a quick conclusion on the hair graces, the battle of the blue magics, all right? My conclusion is, this side was the hemp, and this side was the wheat germ. I preferred this side. Yes, it reminded me of my childhood favorite, and I am maybe being a bit biased. However, I preferred this side because I like the slip that it had on my hair. There was no snagging, and my hair felt coated, moisturized, sealed. The overall, this side feels slightly more greasy. The side with the hemp feels a little bit more greasy. This side, not so much. But what I do notice, when the hair grease feels slightly more thicker, my hairstyle will be coated for longer, meaning that I don't have to reapply as often. So if you wanna see how I got my badly heat damaged hair into a much better state, you're gonna to wanna to click this one now. 